Hey everyone, it's the founder of Developers Academy and you are watching episode number 33 of Code Hangout. In this episode of Code Hangout, I would love to show you how to play a YouTube video in iOS inside your project without having to leave, uh, Safari, uh, leave your app to Safari or leave your app to YouTube or display a web view or anything. We will display a YouTube video inside your app that looks just like a native video and we will do this not from scratch but with the help of a special library. Now, when you go down the link right down below, you will see that takes you to our blog, the Developers Academy blog uh, website. It will ask you to sign up for a new member to download the starter project because as always, I would love to give you my new iOS app course as a free gift to you. So go down there, download the starter project and we will get started and I will tell you how we do this. Alright, so here's how our startup project looks like. It displays all of our courses or most of our courses and programs at Developers Academy. And when you click into one course like this, and displays the information of the course. Also, we want to click into this watch uh, the video, watch socialize your apps bootcamp or uh, our program videos, and we'll show the YouTube videos of the course of the program. Okay, so let's learn how we can do this. First, let's drag out a view controller from the storyboard and make that a YouTube player view controller. That is the third party framework on GitHub, an open source library we use in this project. So we'll drag out a view controller like this to the storyboard and make sure that we will drag another one, another view, UI view, like this to this guy, okay, and I will make it like this so that it is full screen, okay, and then we will auto lay out to this guy like this, zero, 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 okay, and then add all the four constraints, oops, let's do that again, I think I unchecked, didn't uncheck the constraint to margins, so zero, 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 zero. Uncheck the constraint to margin. Okay. And then we'll add all of these four constraints and we're good to go. Now, with this UI view, we want to make sure that this UI view is of the class, of the custom class, YouTube player view. Okay. Then we have that. Okay. So that's our UI. Our next one is segue from this button. When we click into this button, we want to segue into this guy, right? And we want to do a show segue, a push segue. And then this push segue, let's give it an identifier. Don't worry about the size of this guy, okay? Give it an identifier of something like show YouTube player, like that, okay? Now our next job is to create a custom class, a new class called YouTube Player View Controller. And as you can imagine, that YouTube YouTube Video Player Controller is the controller of this view. So I will comment and code touch class, and we'll name this YouTube Player View Controller, which is a UI view controller, and place it right in there and create. Then we have our YouTube player view controller. Inside here, let's declare some properties and some IB outlets. First, we have a URL of the video itself. So var video URL, which is an NS URL and we'll use the unex, uh, un unexplicit, ungrabbed, optional, okay? Because later on, when we segue from the course detail view controller into this YouTube view controller. Then we want to pass in the URL of a different program or different URL videos in there. Okay, in your own project later on when you implement it, you can just maybe control uh, drag this whole file into your project, copy paste the 
storyboard view controller and then implement the prepare for takeaway and I will show you that later on okay another one thing we want to have is an IV outlet wick var and that is YouTube player view and here we have the YouTube player view cool oh this is YouTube with the capital T now this YouTube player view we will connect that to our code later on but for now let's just place it here okay next in the view did load method let's do this we want to check if let the video URL is a video URL if we do have the URL of the video then we will do YouTube player view dot load video URL now one cool thing about this is this framework or this class allows us to load a YouTube video with an ID also okay we can load that with a video ID from the URL of the YouTube or if we have the URL here we can load that also so we have the video URL which is um, video URL otherwise let's create an alert controller alert view controller and we'll present that into our table, uh, into our view let alert controller to be UI alert controller and we have to provide a title something like oops the message is the video can't be played and the preferred style is alert okay and then because we don't have anything else we just self dot present view controller alert controller and when the true and completion is nil cool now actually we have everything set up for this class it's just several lines of code it's that easy when you use a github library and millions thanks to the author of this library now let's delete the other code so we can clean out our class our next job is to pass that video url into this class so this goes let's go into the course detail view controller i have a private let sample video string over here a youtube video so let's implement the prepare for segue if the segue dot identifier equals equals to the storyboard dot show youtube segue which is <laughs> this guy over here okay i already created those that's why I make sure that you have the show youtube segue to be show youtube player okay the next one is let YouTube player view controller YouTube player view controller to be the segue dot destination view controller so we have the destination view controller of the segue and we'll cast it down as a YouTube uh, YouTube player view controller like that and then we will pass that YouTube player view controller dot video URL. Well, let me just copy paste this guy to be the NS URL with a string of the sample video string. And then we we'll have to ungrab that. Well, actually, we don't have to ungrab that because this guy video URL here is an optional. Okay. Believe it or not, that's it for us. Everything all, all set for us to test this project out. So let's run it. Here we go. Here's our project. Let's go into maybe some videos um, like this. Optionals, total iOS blueprint videos. Click onto that. Oops, let's see how it looks like. Now it says that we have a crash. What is this crash? Let me scroll it right here. Okay. Could not cast the value of typed UI view controller to YouTube player dot YouTube player view controller. Well, why is that? 
I think there are some problems with this, I forgot. The first one is we haven't set the class of this. It's still view controller. So we want to make sure that this is YouTube player view controller, right? And the second one is we want to make sure the YouTube player view of this. Where is that? YouTube player view is connected the IB outlet to this guy also. Okay, we connect the IB outlet. Then everything should be all set. Let's run the project and see how it looks like. Here we go. Let's go into one project, one course, like that. Watch the video and boom. Now, it will take time because a little bit of time to display that because my network here, it maybe is not fast as yours, but maybe one of the ways is um, you can do things like you can have some animations inside that, okay? Just some, let me show you immediately. Or inside beneath the view, let me make it your core challenge. Just drag out an activity controller, okay? The uh, reels, the okay? Now we can play this video also. Let's play that. There we go. We can play this video. And when we can close that and still have the very, very nice YouTube UI. Okay. Another thing I want to do before we close off this episode of Code Hangout is that I want to change just the title of this one. So let's change that because we don't have any title here. When we watch the video, we want to do the title to be something like watch the program video like that. Okay. It's just like that. And we have everything on set for us to do. Okay. All right, I hope that you enjoyed this episode of Code Hangout. If you have any questions, feel free to post it right down below at our blog. Or if you love to watch more video tutorials from me every week, every day, subscribe to my channel on YouTube and go to dukechan.cl or developersacademy.il and subscribe to our newsletter list. So every week I can send you even more video tutorials. Oh, when you enter your name and email to subscribe to our newsletter. I already sent you another video after you send you the startup project, right? After that video, inside that video, I send you another course, an iOS course I created for you, a new iOS course I want to give you as a free gift, as my thanks for checking out Code Hangout, for supporting me in this channel. So definitely check that out, goes back to your inbox and get that video tutorials series from me so until next time i see you in the next episode of court hangouts i see you at the developers academy go out there every single day of your life learn new things craft your ideas and contribute to the world